fractions in an area model for SOL 3.3 A and B. Let's first, let's take a look at some vocabulary, things that we need to know for this. The first one is a fraction. And the word fraction means, it, it names the part of a whole or part of a group. So that's what we're gonna be looking at is fractions. And there are two parts to a fraction. The first one is the numerator, and the numerator tells us how many parts are being looked at. And the bottom part is the denominator, and the denominator tells us how many equal parts there are in all. So the numerator is the top, it tells us what we're looking at, and the denominator is the bottom number, and it tells us how many parts there are in all together, and that's called a fraction. Okay. So like I said, the top number is the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. Now we're going to take a look at a fraction, and we're going to figure out how when you have a what we call an area model, where it's like a pizza or a candy bar or something like that, that's called an area model, and we're going to look at how we can write a fraction using an area model. So the first thing that we want to do is count the total number of pieces in the model. So you can see we have one, two, three, four. That number is called the denominator. It goes on the bottom. Remember, the denominator tells us how many pieces we have all together. The second thing that we're going to do is count the total number of pieces that are green. In this case, they're green. They can be anything. They could be blue, they could be just shaded in, whatever. So let's go ahead and count those pieces. One, two, three, and this number is called the numerator. Now what we're going to do is write the numerator on top of the fraction. Remember that's the pieces that were green, and that's going to be three. And then we're going to write the denominator on the bottom of the fraction. And that's how many pieces we had all together. And that number was 4, so our fraction here is 3 fourths. Alright, let's take a look at another one. Again, the first thing we're going to do is count the total number of pieces in the model. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, and that's called the, new, uh, I'm sorry, the denominator. It's the number that goes on the bottom. And then we're going to... Two, one, two, three, four. All right, and this is called the numerator. So we're going to count the number of pieces that are shaded. There it is. Count the total number of pieces that are red. We have four of them. One, two, three, four. And again, this is called the numerator. And then we're going to write our fraction. The first thing we're going to do is write down the numerator at the top of the fraction, how many pieces were shaded. In this particular one, it was four. And then we're going to write the denominator on the bottom of the fraction, how many pieces we had all together. In this case, it was 8. And so our fraction here is 4 eighths. All right, let's review a little bit. What number is used to tell the number of parts in a whole or the parts of a group? So what word is that? If you said fraction, you are correct. Question number two. What word is used to tell what part of the whole or group is being looked at? So what vocabulary word is that? Correct answer there is numerator. Nice job. Okay, apparently the question number three went somewhere, so let's take a look at question number four. What fraction are we looking at in this particular area model? Remember, count the number of pieces you have first and then count the shaded parts, and you'll know that the fraction here is two-thirds. We have three pieces, one, two, three, and then we have two that are shaded in for a fraction of two-thirds. Okay, question number four again. Somebody clearly didn't proofread this. Question four again. What fraction is being shown by the area model? So again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count the number of pieces we have. In this case, we have 9, and we're going to count the number of pieces that are shaded. 
Uh, there are five of them, so the fraction should be what? The answer we're looking for here is five ninths. All right, here are some thank yous. Uh, the fraction graphics, they were provided by a store called the Enlightened Elephant. You can visit them at teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash the enlightened elephant. And the font was provided by a store called Love and Lit. And you can visit them at teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash love and lit. If you like this video, uh, please be sure to uh, subscribe and leave a comment, uh, particularly about firing the editor. And thank you for watching. And as always, this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.